Only thing better than making a 100x or a 1000x in crypto would have to be the near infinite returns on either a free mint or a airdrop. In today's video, I'm going to go over one of those potential opportunities with the Manta network. This will be your complete guide on how to maximize the Mantum airdrop as well as cover some other opportunities on chain. That way you can kill two birds with one stone. But first, if you guys are new to Drake on Digital, I talk all things crypto, DeFi, altcoins, you name it. If that's your cup of tea and you enjoy this type of stuff, you can drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. First things first is Manta Network just dropped some new alpha literally today. So this airdrop video is a bit time sensitive, but they gave us some information on these different NFTs. I'll explain to you guys how to get these NFTs and the different things you need to do on chain in order to maximize your airdrop opportunity. But right now, this is the explanation for the 30 million Manta tokens that are to be distributed. When you bridge over to Manta Network, you will actually get these different boxes and box pieces that you can open up. They have different NFTs inside of them once you open them, which will then place you into certain tiers for particular airdrop allocations. If you guys already have some invite codes or you start your own team, drop a link in the description below so other people can join your team as well. But this is how you get these different box pieces. The more people you refer, the more box pieces that you get. So drop it in the description below. We'll get you guys some visibility over there so you can build up some more box pieces so we can all go nuts and ham on this airdrop. So the base reward of this 30 million Manta token is going to be given to the T1 to T6 NFTs, which if you go back to the leaderboard on this page, this is basically all these first NFTs. You need every single one of these. Once you get all of them, you can combine them and get the T7 NFT. This T7 NFT is huge because it's getting 15 million Manta tokens. Now, if there are only 10 NFTs out there or 20 NFTs, all those 15 million tokens are distributed equally amongst those NFTs. Basically, your goal is to get this tier seven NFT. Open as many boxes as you can to get all these different NFTs. You can trade them on the secondary in order to purchase the ones that you need and find those and make that tier seven. So tier one to tier six NFTs, these guys are all battling for this 30 million Manta token. However, there is also another distribution of 5 million Manta tokens. In my opinion, a lot of people are undervaluing this. And the reason for that is most people, what they are doing is they're wash bridging. And basically what people are doing is they hit bridge more and they bridge the ETH over. And once they get the ST ETH or the ST1 token, they then take that token, swap it to ETH and then bridge it back to Ethereum and then bridge back over. And they're basically wash bridging. We're in business, but now we need to get some gas. Hence why the ST1 token, this liquid stake token is actually trading at a discount. You currently can't withdraw from the ST1 contract. So this is going to trade at a discount until those withdrawals open, or at least they close the bridge. And if you look closely into this tweet right here, 800,000 Manta for users of partner wallets, OKX, Trust Wallet, BitGit, and Bybit Web 3. In my opinion, it's a good idea to use a OKX wallet when you guys are bridging over on Manta. This will allow you to basically just get some free tokens like the 800K Manta. It's easy to get a OKX Web3 wallet. All you got to do is upload your keys and you're good to go. Going into the second one is supporting DeFi projects with ST1 and wrapped USDM. So if you guys are simply just trying to wash bridge, this would be your first strategy is you would basically bridge some ETH over and then obviously you can't withdraw right now. So you'd have to use an additional third party bridge in order to get your ETH back to the other. So the strategy bridge ETH from Ethereum in order to get into Manta network. You then have this ST1. Once you have this ST1, you can go to something like Aperture Swap and take your ST1, which will be right here, and then swap it to ETH. So let's say you bridge in 10 ETH and you get 10 ST1. Of course, you're gonna eat a lot of slippage because it's selling for a discount, but if you're trying to maximize your airdrop, this is kind of what you can do. 
Me personally, I don't think the discount is worth it. And especially the amount of tokens that have been bridged over. I think it's better to hit at the second strategy, which is to be a contributor on chain, which in my opinion, a lot of people are fading this. So the way that you would be a contributor is simply provide liquidity for these dumpers in order to sell their st1 tokens or in order to i don't know do their DeFi thing i've actually put a list of different protocols that don't have a token that way we can hit two birds with one stone we're going to aim at these different protocols that are tokenless so we can also potentially get a airdrop for their token first step bridge over we're bridged over we got our st1 in order to get some gas you got to bridge some regular eth over there the best bridge to do this is rhino.fi you can also use orbiter these are also potential airdrops as well but you would basically select the eth it can be from a layer two any other chain fees are dirt cheap so you say just from base all you need is like five dollars over there and then you can go nuts and ham gas fees are dirt cheap on manta so once you get that ETH and you bridge your ST1, now you have the option to swap your ST1 out or you can simply LP it. Let's just say we bridge over a 10th of an ETH or 0.5 ETH, whatever you want to call it. You now come over to some of these different farms and we're going to farm our ST1 and our ETH. And simply if you don't have a Web3 wallet yet or any wallet, or if you're just using your MetaMask, you have to go inside your wallet to export your keys. If you don't know how to do that, that's okay, there, there are plenty of videos to show you how to do that. But basically, let's just say you have to start a new fresh wallet, I would recommend doing the OKX one. Once you download it, this kind of walks it through, but you create a wallet, set up a password, and you're gonna have a list of your different features like your crypto, NFTs, DeFi, etc. You're going to need to get your particular wallet address. So you have your Ethereum, OKC, Binance, just enter your, or get your Ethereum address. Manta is a layer two, so when you're sending over Ethereum, you can send it via Manta. Now, if you're sending this from an exchange, preferably send it to something like Base Network or Optimism or Polygon, which is right here. That way you can bridge your ETH over into your Manta chain. And that's where you do that on Rhino.fi. So let's say we use Coinbase or we used Kraken or any of the other exchanges to get our ETH that's on base. We now have our ETH that is right on base and we're going to bridge one ETH, whatever you want to, want to bridge over. And we'll say we're gonna bridge this over to Manta Pacific. So we're gonna say, hey, I got one ETH, to, actually just call it 0.1 ETH to bridge over and we're going to bridge that over. Obviously you're not going to get zero ETH I don't have my wallet connected, so it'll bridge over and allow you to get 0.1 ETH. The first one is going to be Aperture Finance. You can provide liquidity in multiple pools, but I would recommend doing the pools that they selected. You can actually go under info.aperturefinance and see which pools are trading by volume or have a lot of volume. That way you can have a quote unquote profitable airdrop strategy, whereas if you don't get a big airdrop, at least you were profitable with the farming. But we want to do the wrapped USDM. Me personally, I'm not doing this. I'd rather not pair my ETH with some stable coins, but I am using Aperture Finance because I want to get this airdrop. So you can basically pair up some USDM with some ST1 or your USDC, ETH, whatever you wanna pair it with. Just make sure you look at the comparison between the TVL and the volume before making your decision. Now another pool you want to consider in Aperture is the TIA pool. As you can see here, LPs on Aperture Swap earn extra APR in Manta tokens with an additional boost for TIA liquidity providers. Now, this is another potential airdrop is using Hyperlane. So you would simply just enter Celestia and Manta and then you would bridge some TIA tokens over. The bridge is actually really cheap so it's only gonna cost you a couple of dollars but basically you can transfer your TIA over to Manta and now you have your TIA tokens over here. You can also choose to purchase the TIA over here but me personally, I would say bridge it over. That way again, you can actually kill three birds with one stone. Potential Hyperlane airdrop a potential Aperture airdrop, and a potential, well, actually, a Manta airdrop. So then you would provide liquidity. The easiest way to do this is you select the position, and then you would say, hey, I wanna do this for a TIA token and some ETH, whatever you wanna call it. 
and then you would provide liquidity. You choose the range and that's it. If you want to be like, bruh, this is too complicated. I don't want to do ranges. You can do that. All you got to do is just enter zero right here and then do infinite or let's just say, I don't know, just some random number that's super high and you're good. I mean, sure, it's going to be an extremely wide range, but at least you won't see massive and permanent loss. So you can play around with it here. You also have a um, auto strategy, but like you can see, we we definitely covered the range. Like we're 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 way priced in. We could probably be a little bit nicer and do like a hundred or something and come in range. So that's the first one, aperture. Now the next one to cover is layer bank. This fills up pretty quick, especially when you're trying to lend out some ST1. This is at 90% capacity, so there is a little bit of room. And there are a couple of strategies you can do with this. The first one is simply just depositing some ST1, borrowing some ETH, and then swapping that to ST1 and getting a levered play on ST1. Be careful because the borrow APRs are super high. You're basically paying 55% in ETH and you're earning 101% in the layer bank and Manta tokens. That's a little bit juicy uh, to be paying 55% in ETH and basically exchanging that for some of these different tokens. So me personally, I wouldn't be taking that strategy, but hey, if that's your cup of tea, go for it. I'm not going to say don't do it, but you can do that. Now, if these do fill up over here on layer bank, no worries, that's fine, just use shoe bill. Oh, and by the way, if you guys left a comment with your favorite proverbs on the previous YouTube video, I'm going to be selecting one of the random comments at the end of this video. You guys will win or whoever wins will get that free Discord giveaway. So stay tuned till the end. I'll be doing a random selection so you guys will get that. And if you guys want to enter into the next one, stay tuned to the end of the video for the qualifications for that. Shoebill actually has a pre-mining program going on right now. So technically airdrop. So if you're simply just using this and providing some liquidity of the ST1 token or some ETH, you are going to be earning some airdrop points. And the yields are actually really good right now. So if you're lending out some ETH, you're stinking getting like 31% on a base APY. That's, that's really good. So you're killing a couple birds with one stone. The first is you're getting yield on your ETH. The second is potential shoe bill, shoe bill airdrop. And the third, of course, is the Manta airdrop. So again, killing some birds with a stone. We're, we're good with this stone, man. We're really good. The next protocol to use is Kylo X. This is a derivative protocol where you can trade up to 100X leverage depending on the token pair. I don't recommend doing any leverage. So if you're going to be trading with this, trade with like, spot <laughs> if you can just just do 1x leverage or no the minimum is 2x but just make some trades so just open a trade close it open a trade close it open a trade close it just generate volume that's all you got to do uh, i don't recommend leverage trading at all however i do recommend farming some airdrops so this is a pretty good strategy make sure you understand the fees involved and you watch the funding rates so look Preferably look for something with a lower funding rate and understand the fees that you're going to incur when opening up a trade. So use this, play around with it. I'll drop a link in the description below so you guys can access it as well. All links for all these different projects are going to be in the description below. Don't worry guys, I won't leave you hanging. The next thing we want to do is mint some NFTs on Manta Network. You can actually mint one of these Manta Rays and you can also mint one of these Manta New Paradigm NFTs. I'll drop links in the description below for these, but basically the task is simple, just minting an NFT on each of those. The next one is to use Steer Finance. Steer Finance is a protocol that offers liquidity management solutions. These guys do not have a token and they only are using QuickSwap right now. QuickSwap is one of the protocols built on Manta. They're on multiple chains as well. The reason why I didn't really put them in this video is because they already have a token. So I was trying to maximize the airdrop. But you can go to QuickSwap, provide liquidity, and you can deposit the tokens here. You can see here some of the farming yields are actually extremely profitable. Like this farming strategy chooses a very narrow range. You can see here the liquidity position is in range right now, but it is earning snap. 1200% APR uh, paid on wrap staked ETH or WEATH, whatever you want to call it, and ST1. 
that's a pretty good yield, but messing around with this. So I mean, in general, the strategies are, are, are pretty good. Just understand you have impermanent loss on some of them. So understand the risks that you're getting into. Last protocol we want to play around with is element.market. This is a NFT protocol. This is where you can buy and sell NFTs. This also is going to be the place for some of your Manta New Paradigm NFT collections. So you can buy some of these different NFTs right here. So if you're missing a piece, you can get some of these right here. But you basically have leak codes, fixed high yields, legit terms, secure multi-sigs, leaderboards, scores, and tier one backers. So you can actually buy a bunch of these NFTs if you're wanting to. But remember, to get the tier seven NFT, you need one of each of these. Hence why the L33T or leet codes, whatever you want to call it, are selling at a premium because it's probably the hardest one to get. So if you aren't farming it and trying to get the boxes, you can simply get on the secondary and yeah, you can basically just build your own tier seven. All right, so you guys made it. Let's go ahead and give away some Discord memberships. If you minted the Wisdom One Liner NFT, you get a one year membership. If you don't have one, it's just a one month, but organic fruit juice, you did win. So go ahead and drop a comment below. I'll go ahead and hit you up and make sure you get access to that. If you minted that NFT today, it is not valid for the one year membership. You had to do it before the snapshot. So I'll be able to see that on the collection. But if you guys want to enter into our next giveaway on, well, on this video, but shared on next video, <laughs> um, make sure you guys drop a comment below with your favorite proverb. Same thing. These are also called the wisdom one-liners. Well, basically the last part of the clip got roasted. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Tell me what you guys think of it in addition to your favorite proverb. And if you guys would like to join the exclusive Discord group, the link is in the description below. Basically, I share the plays that I'm doing in the market as well as share some exclusive video content that I don't show on YouTube. And you can also chat with a bunch of other DeFi DGens just like you and you can communicate back and forth with me there. Also, I wanna share with you guys expat. People have been asking me on Twitter, like, what is this expat thing? Like, cause I've been replying and farming, but basically you can farm these different boxes. So here's an example of these chests. If I go to expat, this is basically like a digital Tamagotchi thing. You can integrate it with Twitter. I got a little Pandu. Uh, he was kind of saw him farming a little bit earlier. Yeah, here he is. Oh, he's hungry. I gotta feed this guy. So I'm gonna feed him some chicken. But you, you run out of chicken pretty quick and he gets really hungry. My, my guy's on roids. Uh, he likes food a lot. But basically you get these little boxes, you click on the box and you can open the box. Basically in order to open this chest, I gotta say, hey, I'm farming a chest, whatever you want. But it has to have expat in at least 16 characters. So I'm hitting reply and then I basically get to open my chest. So once I open it, boom, I got an apple and now I can go feed him. Sometimes you get B pet tokens but you can upgrade your pet and your pet basically earns more pet tokens. <laughs> That's all it is. It's a little gamified Tamagotchi game, but you don't have to pay anything if you don't want to play. You can simply just get one of these cool NFTs and just like have fun. Maybe it'll be a part of the airdrop for the base ecosystem, who knows? So I mean, why not set it up? I'll drop an invite code below if you guys want to check it out, but that's XPet for you. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and hit you with a Wisdom One-Liner, Private Chapter 12 versus 11. Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies have no sense. Be good, be righteous. Get them airdrops. Peace.